All right, guys. I told you it was coming. I told you I was behind. This is the catch-up video, okay? So what we have here is a little bit of work here at the end of hunting season that we put in. And uh, honestly, there was more. But I can't find the receipts between me and you. I, I wouldn't believe me if I put it up without the evidence. So I got the evidence here on the table. But I wanted to show you what I was able to pick up. Now these guys, they've been killing this knife deal for a while. And they've been buying them by the dozens. And uh, these were what I found at a Walmart here in town. I got this backpack half off. It was marked down to 15 bucks. It's actually pretty sweet. It's got a ton of pockets. It's got a nice little soft sunglass pocket. It's got a water hydration hole pouch thing. It's got built-in mole. It's got a water bottle. You know, inside the main pocket, it's got a bunch of pockets. It's a good quality backpack for 15 bucks. You can't beat it. Um, and then these Gerber knives, everybody's had these. You get the GDC Tech Skin with the sharpener, nine bucks. You get this little multi-tool and paraframe combo, five bucks. You get this saw and this this uh, nice folder, nine bucks. Okay, so pick those up. Gonna get rid of those. But while I was there, I saw that they had the nice knives on discount, and so I think this knife was like forty-five dollars or something. And it's got a real snappy open, but I don't really care for the feel of it myself. But somebody probably will at a good enough price. And I paid for that knife. It was 19 bucks from like 49 or something. Um, that worked out real well. And I had some other ones, just nothing that really interests me. And I'll try to get that for you guys. You know what to do with that. Okay. And while I was there... Technical, technical difficulties. And so while I was there, I they had CB short. I didn't really need it. Um, but I already had 300 rounds. Steve Goff sent me some of those CCI sleeves for the 500 round packs. I liked them. So I bought two more so I could fill a sleeve and have 500 of these just sitting there. I'm going to test them in the Heritage Rough Rider. Hopefully I like them. If not, we'll figure out what to do with them. It's a the great thing about 22 is it's always pretty much in demand. You're never... You're never just in a bad situation with a bunch of 22. And so this, like I said, this is the makeup video. This was on January the 22nd, okay? Now, three, four days later, on the 26th, I was at another Walmart in Hondo, Texas. I live in San Antonio. Out on the way to the deer ranch, and I've been complaining about my hunting gloves all year. And I saw these puppies on sale. I picked them up for thirteen twenty-eight. No barcodes. I had to use them, so all the packaging came off. Thirteen bucks. Not too bad. They're really nice, double insulated. And then I found this really cool baklava kind of thing, uh, or what is it? It's a uh, balak balaklava, balaklava, blah, blah blah blah. That's this thing. Yeah. So it was really warm. Kept me warm in the deer blind. It was awesome. I loved it. I paid ten bucks for that. And then while I was there. If they have it on the shelf, it's hard to pass up. So about one box, 1280. I have a ton of it. But that was that. Okay. Now over here, I heard somebody once say the term that was as long as I could leave it there for, right? If you remember in one of my first videos, I got 10 boxes of 50 count stinger to make a sleeve or a brick, you know. And uh, in that I knew that Walmart had three more sleeves or, you know, another 30 pieces. I gave it a week so that other people could go and I checked it and they still had it. And I gave it another, I don't know, week or two. And finally, on the 21st of January was as far as I could stand it. I'd already had my dad go pick me up three. He was in the area. I said, hey, can you stop by there and pick three of these up? So he did. I haven't gotten those from him yet. They'll be in a future video. And then me and Ammo Girl went. And we picked up three apiece also, and we got six. And there was still maybe another six on the shelf. So I didn't clear out the shelf, but of the 40 pieces that uh, they had in, which are now gone, I have 19 of them. So uh, not too bad. I got two full bricks now because I already had a couple boxes. So I had one to blow off and then one to fill the 10, and I've got two brick, two sleeves of uh, CCI Stinger. Pretty happy about that. And again, that date was on the 21st. I paid $6.47 a box. Check the evidence. There you go. So that's my makeup video. Sorry, it's kind of a quick one. But, uh, you know, and I'm missing some stuff that, that 
could be out here. For instance, this actually came from a Dick's Sporting Goods. It was $2.99. I was paying for my ammo and I saw it there on discount. I use these when I kayak. You guys will see more of that here as it warms up. And uh, this also, I got this at a Walmart. Okay, you can see there, 11 bucks. Had no tags on it anywhere. But me and the kiddo and the ammo girl, we all like to do camping and backpacking and camping out of the kayaks and stuff like that. And we had two of these from REI that were really nice, paid good money for them. One of them broke, one of them walked off. Haven't been in wanting to go pay another 100 bucks for one. Been waiting to find something like this. Um, so the kiddo will enjoy that. He won't have to sleep on the ground anymore. For me, I've got a nice lightweight cot, but the kiddo has not yet earned a privilege to use that. If the, one, if the little lady there is their ammo girl, then she gets the cot. I'll get this. Tough luck, kid. You got the young back. Sorry. So, you know, I've been doing other deals here and there, but this is the big gist of it. You guys let me know what you think. Get out there. Get your scores. Shout out to everybody. You know who you are. You're my, my ammo guys. I'd rather be outside or I'd rather be outdoors. I like you guys. Keep going. Keep watching my stuff. I'm watching yours. Um... You know, good to good to have friends, right? All right, guys. Talk to you later. This is Alex from Texas saying stay smart, stay safe, stay shooting.